Hey guys, uh, thanks for hopping on. Um, obviously, we were uh, hoping to be doing this as we got ready uh, to play Miami on Saturday. Uh, they contacted us yesterday to let us know that they wouldn't uh, be able to play uh, due to everything that's going on within their program. So uh, first and foremost, you know, want to send our best wishes uh, to their players, to their staff, um, you know, for a speedy return. We, we think the world uh, of their program, of their players, how they're playing right now and, uh, you know, wish them nothing but the best. Um, but it's unfortunate. Uh, we were ready to play. Um, we actually had a had a practice this morning an OTA style, uh, OTA style practice uh, this morning. Um, you know, so I feel good about where we are uh, as a program. I feel good about the uh, protocols and the mitigation strategies that all of our medical professionals uh, have put in place for us. Um, last week, just going back a week, um, you know, it was a combination of a lot of things, injuries uh, at a certain position, uh, contact tracing, uh, and cases of contact tracing from outside of the program uh, that affected us. Um, and then a small case, a uh, small group of, of positives uh, at a certain position that, you know, we're, we're putting into question later in the week if we'd be able to uh, play versus Pitt. Um, so that's where we're at. Um, you know, so with that, I'll open it up uh, to, to questions. Okay, just like we always do, if you could please raise your hand uh, using the raise hand function within Zoom if you have a question for Coach Collins. And we'll go ahead and start with one from Zach Klein from WSB TV here in town. Hey, Zach. Hey, Coach. Your, hey, coach, um, your practices have never lacked juice, energy, uh, competitive nature, right? But do you do anything different this week competitively to replace a quote unquote game type energy competitiveness, knowing that you're not going to game for a third straight week? Yeah, so that, today was was very competitive. Um, I was really proud of them and, and the lesson that that we were trying to you know impart on them. Every single play, you've got to you've got to play. Not worry about the scoreboard. Just worry about the process, execution, having the proper energy. Uh, I thought they did that today. Um, they were flying around. They were having fun. Um, you know, under all the circumstances. So uh, you never know. I mean, this is unprecedented times uh, that we're going through. There's no book to go back and say, how do you handle coming off a of bye week and coming off of two games getting canceled? What is that practice schedule supposed to look like? Um, but I thought the guys handled it well, and I had got some really good work and some competitive work uh, out there today. And then the other thing, Zach, if you could text uh, Mike Flynn uh, your address, uh, just because that there's uh, we need to you know get some Georgia Tech gear in the background. Um, I gotcha. More white and gold um, in that picture. And just for the record, you know, there's nothing collegiate behind me. It's all professional. It's going to be, you know, for fair over here, coach. For now. For now. Got it. Thanks, Zach. Next question for Coach Collins comes from Rod McKenzie from 247 Sports. Hey, Rod. Hey, Jeff. Good morning. How are you? Hey, uh, looking ahead a little bit in the schedule, when you look at that pit game, naturally, You've already prepared for them it's somewhat, but you, finals also come into play around that period. How, how do you just, you know, what you do as far as your practice routine is, is going to be? Right. It's a great question, Rod, um, but we're taking it one day at a time, one week at a time. Just got to stay fluid, uh, stay nimble, and just be able to adjust, um, you know, the, the things that we do um, on a given week. So right now I'm worried about, how we're handling this week. Uh, we're gonna have some OTA style practices, uh, get some good lift stretches and runs. Uh, and uh, Zach, we will have some competitive situations. I know none of our players watch this, so I can feel free to tell you guys, there might be some kickball tournaments thrown in. Uh, there might be some dodgeball tournaments thrown in. There might be some uh, home run derbies thrown in this week, just to get the competitive juices uh, playing that, let the guys have a little bit of fun. Um, along with playing football and getting ready. But, yeah, I mean, these are unprecedented times. And, uh, you know, I, I think the, the biggest piece, too, is uh, next week is Thanksgiving, Rod. Then we follow it up, and it'll be an exam-heavy uh, schedule uh, the last couple of weeks. So we just got to be able to adjust and, and adjust the schedule accordingly. Next question comes from Kelly Quinlan from Rivals. Hey, Kelly. Hey, Jeff, you, get, you guys have done a tremendous job managing the situation with young people, and uh, that's – 
uh, you know, to be commended for sure. I imagine a little bit nervous with Thanksgiving coming up now as well, and maybe kids going home a little bit here. Kind of what's your approach to tell them to how to handle this upcoming situation with Thanksgiving? Absolutely. And it, it's, the, it's the same thing. I hopped on a Zoom call uh, last week. I think it was last Thursday. I had a Zoom call with all of our families, uh, you know, and I expressed those concerns with the families. Um, and then as we go throughout the week next week, uh, there'll be some things every every Thanksgiving, Kelly, uh, my wife and I throw a huge Thanksgiving party uh, for the p- f- uh, players and the coaches, families and the staff um, that that tradition is not going to be able to happen this year. Um, so we're going to modify it uh, kind of how we do our Friday night meals uh, where it'll be by position with the plexi between us um, rolling uh, times to come in. Um, but the Thanksgiving piece is a huge deal for my wife and I. And, uh, you know, it's sad that we're not going to be able to fully execute all the things that are special in this culture. Uh, We haven't really been able to do a lot of the things that we do at all this year, uh, but just proud of the way our guys have handled it and uh, just trust the the wearing the masks. uh, Whenever you can have something that is outside, have it outside, um, those kind of things. But we'll we'll make adjustments to the schedule, uh, educate our players and educate our families as well, who, who are all in. Uh, cause they, they, they realize how much we love and care for their sons as well. Next from Ken Segura from the Atlanta journal constitution. Thank you. Hey Jeff. Um, I just wanted to make sure I understand clearly when you say OTA, I, you're talking like just going in helmets and jerseys and shorts. Uh, helmets and spiders. We went in helmets. Okay. spiders are those little, like little bitty cushiony thing. You know, they're not shoulder pads. They're just soft. Just right. Then some shoulder. Uh, things, but we just did had them in spiders and, and helmets. All of our helmets in practice have the splash guards on them uh, to mitigate any kind of spread if, if needed. And uh, went out there and got some really good work in. A lot of loose plays, so screens, outside runs, uh, drop back passes, not a lot of play action, just to keep everything loose and nimble um, and guys spread out and being able to run around and compete. And uh, they went out there and had fun. We did a lot of uh, uh, special teams because those are looser type plays as well, and uh, I thought the guys handled it uh, handled it well. And uh, you know, big thing too is you know, kind of remembering uh, what they love about the game, uh, why they started playing, and uh, when they came back in the locker room uh, last week, I requested from their parents uh, pictures from their little league, uh, Pop Warner days, Pee Wee days, and uh, we had given them to them last Friday. And uh, then today they walked into the locker room and we have, I bet we have 20 TVs in the locker room and uh, we had collages of all their little league pictures and they came in there with masks on, socially distant, but they were good to see each other and see themselves uh, as little guys just playing the game because they love the game. So, Is that going with the, the, sh- the spiders? Is that uh, kind of acknowledging just the lateness of the season too and, Guys are maybe a little beat up or? Absolutely, Ken. Absolutely. That's, you know, one of the reasons. And we've never had to do this before. It's basically, you know, we're having another training camp within the season. So we're just trying to manage it, um, you know, the best way we can to get some really good speed work, uh, stay in good uh, good condition, and uh, stay sharp and crisp and get the guys moving around uh, at a high level. Next question comes from Charles Odom from the Associated Press. Hey, Charles. Hey, Coach. Uh, I'd just like to uh, request a video of that uh, dodgeball, particularly if you get the coaches involved. Uh, 100%. Absolutely. <laughs> I, we are not shy about posting things on social media. Uh, I saw them. Our, uh, our social media staff was in the locker room uh, videotaping them, seeing the pictures of themselves. Uh, so I'm sure that'll be some, some video as well. Um, but just trying to find ways. And we we love these kids so much. We're so blessed to coach them. Um, so th- this experience, even though it's unprecedented times, you know, we keep them healthy. We keep them safe. We follow protocols. We educate them on mitigation strategies, all of those things. But th- this game is fun. Playing football is fun. Bonding throughout college football and college athletics. That That's why you love the game. And even though we're doing all the safety things that we need to do, uh, those little bonding experiences, uh, we need to make sure we're doing those as well. I, I wanted to make sure I was on the the, the I, was, I was on the right page with you when you were talking about 
the problems you had last week before the Pittsburgh game with the injuries at certain positions and also the contact tracing, if not for Miami's announcement, you guys would have been good to go this week. Yes. Yep. And are there any others that are currently, can you, I know you're not mentioning names, but do you have any that are not able to go right now in terms of either contact tracing or testing? Yes, and, the, and we don't release those. The Institute does a good job of releasing those numbers. Um, and you guys know we never talk about injuries, uh, but we feel like we're in a really good position with guys coming back uh, and the guys that have come back um, throughout their certain days that they've been out and the guys returning from injury uh, has been huge too. Next question is another one from Zach Klein. I think the three guarantees in life, Coach, are death taxes and you always thinking about recruiting. And with a game now on December 19th and that early signing period right then, uh, do you do anything now to help you then? Or is it just you can control what you can control come, you know, that second, third week of December? Yeah, it's, it's always recruiting. Uh, and especially we found time this week to hop on Zoom calls. We've had big recruiting meetings. Uh, I probably watched, I, even though I can't talk specific, specifics, I probably watched 25 kids yesterday uh, in the 21 class and even the 22 class. I shoot, even some even uh, younger than that. Um, but that's always paramount to what we do. And I think the way we're developing this roster, um, you know, with the kind of guys that we're bringing in, length, speed, uh, the right attitude, mindset, fitting into this culture uh, is, is evident. And, uh, you know, we got to continue to do that. So uh, three years ago, when we won, um, won the St. Petersburg Bowl, we actually had signing day the day before the game on the beach. We had our signing day show on the beach the day before the game. So I'm sure we'll have some creative things, uh, you know, in, in, in works as well uh, for that. And actually, Zach, during the bye week, uh, what was the real, the real bye week, not the next two subsequent weeks, uh, we shot some videos uh, for signing day and did some things uh, that are really, really cool with J1S. Um, to get ready for signing day as well. Does the, does the fact you actually have a game week, it's not a bowl, I mean, does that alter your schedule? I mean, in terms of preparation, I know we'll talk about it then, but does, how, how does that thing, you know, I guess, can you do things now that you normally would be spending that week, but you can't because you're getting ready for a football game? No, we do. And I think Rod made a good point too. Um, the, the game plan's done. You know, we've got the game, we'll tweak some things based on some things that we do the next couple of weeks going into it. But we're at, a, we're at a head start in preparation standpoint uh, for both of those games now that we've got the uh, game plans uh, ready for both. We've got time for a few more for Coach. Uh, we'll go ahead with the ones that are already in queue, beginning with Rod McKenzie. Hey, Rod. Hey, Jeff. Hey, the, I know the, the season is not you know ending the way probably some of these seniors would want it to end. Have you – talk to them about what they're thinking and, and you know, how they want to proceed moving forward? Yeah, we've had those conversations. Uh, actually, yesterday was a big day for some of those conversations. I'll leave those between myself and the position coaches and them. Um, but just the when the news came out, uh, the response uh, with them, they were wanting to play, excited to play, um, and the hope that it will get rescheduled as a postponement uh, and not a cancellation. Um, you know, because they want to play football um, and they want to re represent this great institution the right way. And just the way this senior class uh, has handled everything ha has been amazing. And I'm just really proud of them and just lucky to be associated with each one of them. Kelly Quinlan. Hey, Kelly. Hey, Jeff, do you look at this as kind of a, a total reset and like a second season almost where you guys can kind of maybe set some momentum and, and start to build some things for next year? Yeah, I, I think everything that we do is always in a building mode, right? Every single day is a new opportunity to get better. That's how we run this thing. And uh, the guys have embraced it. And, uh, you know, the cool thing is we just talk about what's next, what can we do next, what do we need to attack uh, at the next phase, sudden change mentality. You know, we practice sudden change. You guys have been out of practice or we'll just right in the middle of individual, we'll drop it and do a sudden change. Well, nothing is more sudden change than what we've had to experience uh, the last couple of weeks and the guys have handled it uh, in the right manner. 
And I just try to go out there and get better every single day. And that's just the philosophy that we have in this program. Okay, we've got two more in queue. We'll start with one from Ken Segura and then finish up with one from Charles Odom. Hey, Ken. Hey, Jeff. Um, I was wondering, just in talking with, you know, the medical team at Tech or Todd or whomever, obviously the numbers are, you know, for, for uh, positivity rate and so forth are, are going up and it's and obviously getting colder. Do you have any concerns or thoughts about you may not be able to, hopefully, hopefully play these games, but you may not, may not get a chance to? Yeah, I don't, I'll uh, worry about every single day and I probably spend 70 to 75 percent of my waking thought is on how to keep this program and these young men healthy and safe and everybody following protocols and following the strategies that we've been putting in place, uh, making sure we're monitoring them, making sure we're enforcing them. And I'm just worried about that every single day. Um, you know, and, and the guys have done a good job with it. And uh, we'll just continue to, whenever these are the rules that we're able to play by, that's what we're going to do. Um, and we're gonna do it to the best of our ability uh, to improve every day, but also do it with a health and safety mindset uh, in place every second of every day. Okay, we'll wrap up with the uh, last one from Charles Odom from the AP. Hey, Charles. Hey, um, that, that kind of brings me into, into what I wanted to ask. Uh, obviously, when the ACC made the announcement about the, the Miami game, it was made clear that there's no guarantee about that game. What, I know you want to play these games. You want, you're trying to, to, to build and you need the, you need the games. What kind of setback would it be for you if you, if you do lose that, that game? Now, you, you, you've known me for a while now that we don't worry about the setbacks. We worry about opportunities. Um, so whatever happens, it's going to happen one way or the other. And we're going to have the positive framework uh, to use it to our advantage for individually, for every one of our players culturally for our program and to build, um, whether it be day to day or whether it be week to week or month to month, year to year, that's where we take every opportunity, whatever comes our way and reframe it to be a positive for this program or for these kids. Awesome. Coach Collins, really appreciate you taking the time during such a, uh, yeah. a, a weird week. Um, and everybody on, on the call, we appreciate you guys yeah. taking the time as well. And, uh, we'll be back, uh, next week with, uh, with, uh, a normal game week schedule as we prepare for Duke. And then too, I don't know if anybody else would like to stay on here for this. I know I would, uh, if Kelly could whip out one of those guitars, man, and let's, let's get some jams going. <laughs> I'm in. Not, uh, not I'm today, no coach. Problem. The, the, uh, little ones upstairs sleeping right now. So I, right above me. I got you with hey, the playlist today. We hit every genre of music today. Normally, it's very specific what we do from a musical standpoint. Today, it was going back and forth. Every single type of music, uh, other than classical maybe, made the playlist today. And it, it provided a pretty good little soundtrack for really good OTA practice. Awesome, Coach. We appreciate, appreciate you, Coach. Thank you. Coach, thanks. And uh, we better see that dodgeball video. Yes, done. See you guys.